Some weeks ago, I told you about my first running with magnetic eyelashes, that is the Moxie lash system. Today, I'm going to tell you about another set of magnetic eyelashes that I've been testing out for a while. These are from Ardell. Now, Ardell has had magnetic eyelashes for a while, actually. The thing is, unfortunately, they came in two sets. That is, you have to have an upper set and a lower set. And the magnetic strips would catch on like that. And the problem is that if you're clumsy, you can never get them properly aligned. I could never get them properly aligned. So why did I say that I was a huge fan of those? Because I separated the sets and used them individually over the Moxie magnetic eyeliner. So that way, magnetic eyeliner from Moxie, Ardell lashes, all right, no problems. Uh, I did want Ardell to do away with the stupid, you know, above set of lash, below set of lash magnetic system and, you know, come up with magnetic eyeliner, and they did. So these cost £12.99 pence or $15 which is brilliant. And I'll tell you why that is because the Moxie system is when it starts at $45. So this is one third of the price and you get a magnetic gel eyeliner, which is great because the Moxie magnetic liquid eyeliner gave me huge problems. There was clumping on my eyelid and it was very, very heavy and incredibly difficult to get rid of, to remove after use. And it was gritty and if it ever got in your eye, you were finished. However, the Moxie gel liner is brilliant. I have talked about that. I'll link my review in the description box below. Now, gel liner, I was pleased to see it. It also comes with a little brush, which looks more like a matte stick. So it's like applying your eyeliner with a matte stick. The problem is that, you know, it, it'll take you forever. However, if you are looking to get a nice thin wing over there, like this one, this works a treat. Otherwise, you know, for this entire area, I would recommend an angled brush that's a little bigger and this for the matte stick. And then you have the lashes themselves, which I am wearing right now, but otherwise the packaging looks like this. The problem is that the lashes, obviously I'm wearing the lashes right now, come stuck to these glue pads here and here. So in two areas per lash, there's some clumping owing to that glue. I think that instead of that, if they'd put a magnetic spot in those places instead of glue pads, there wouldn't be that clumping among the lashes. That was a very stupid design idea. You see that clumping of the lashes over here. And Ardell recommends that you need to apply two coats of the magnetic gel liner and then apply the lashes on top uh, when the liner is still semi-wet. I have managed to apply the lashes without any problems. They're not falling off, as you can see, with just one layer of gel eyeliner. So don't waste your gel liner, people. One layer will do. It works. The other thing is semi-wet. Um, I've taken my own sweet time. I mean, I, I'm, I'm not saying hours and hours. I'm saying, you know, a couple of minutes. It doesn't matter. The eyelash does catch on and stay put. It's not gritty. The liner is smooth, easy to apply. Um, you get a decent line and, you know, it's not clumpy. It's easy to remove. All you need is a cleansing oil of some sort or cleansing balm of some sort. It comes off right away. So no complaints there. Now, I'm going to show you a demo on the back of my hand first and then do an on eyes demo. For me, one of the biggest problems is that there is very, very little product in this pot. So you're thinking, a decent sized pot, which you know about. That's all you get inside, that tiny little black dot. So I'm going to apply the eyeliner on the back of my hand, and I am going to use another Ardell magnetic lash to show you how it catches on. Yeah, this is a magnetic eyelash holder that I've got all magnetic, nothing falling off. The line's thicker than I would like because the brush already had eyeliner on it. And there we are. That's neat. Obviously you don't need this thicker line. I will show you that on my eye demo. You don't need this kind of thick line. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, see, it doesn't fall off. So how these work is very simple. The eyelashes have these magnetic strips on top. As you can see, those are the magnetic strips. And they adhere 
to the iron oxide particles within the gel liner. The gel liner is ice safe, uh, and you know the the particle. You don't feel the particles at all. And now on lid stemmer, off we go. Eyeliner first. So having pried the very tiny brush in here, it's like applying your eyeliner with a matchstick. So I'm going to go with with a bigger brush from Revolution Pro. And as I told you, that's very much important to remember. So that's the eyeliner done on just the right eye. So as you can see, there's a nice, decent line there. And now I'm going to apply the eyelashes on the right eye. So you don't need that thicker line for the lashes to, for the magnetic strips to catch on to the line, as you can see. So that's it. Uh, these are obviously demi wispies, and you can use other eyelashes that are thicker, you know, such as these, if you want more oomph. Personally, I don't like very heavy falsies. I like a very, very natural look. I have peach fuzz instead of eyelashes, so all I want to do is enhance or, you know, look like I have eyelashes at all. I don't want to, you know, look like massive lashes. No, not my thing at all. But you can use any old lash of your choice, as long as it is magnetic. I don't like faffing about with lash glue. There are a couple of brands which are latex-free. Ailio has a latex-free lash glue. I think Ardell now has a latex-free lash glue. Huda has a latex free lash glue, but you know it's very difficult to find a latex free lash glue, and uh, unfortunately, a latex and I don't really get on. Even so, the lash glue has its problems, and I'm clumsy. I don't. I get the lash glue invariably on the lashes themselves, and then they end up sticking together. <laughs> and I'm also very, very bad at cleaning that band, you know, of lash glue. I hate doing that. So it's either single use eyelashes for me, and I can't be asked to spend that much or you know magnetic eyelashes the thing about magnetic eyelashes is that it's you get very little residue on the magnetic strips after each use and in the event that you get any residue on the magnetic strips after use it is very easy to clean them all you need is a q-tip dipped in a bit of cleansing oil and even if there is residue it's not going to hurt you know it's, it's not going to look awkward Unless, you know, it really, really, really builds up all the time. And magnetic eyelashes are a lot more durable. I've used one pair for a very long time now, and you know, nothing's happened to it. Now, what about the gel liner? I've used it four or five times so far now. No problem, but keep the cap tightly, tightly sealed, because over time, the gel liner is going to dry up. It has happened with the Moxie one, you know, that one dried up, I think, after three months or so. The thing is, when you spend about $50 and it dries up after three months, it's a bit, you're a bit iffy about that. But this is $15, and if it does dry up after three months, I'm not going to, you know, be extremely disappointed or anything. It's $15 and three months isn't too bad. I don't know if it's going to dry up after three months. I haven't had it that long. I will add a comment in the description box below after three months if it has dried up. If it has it, I'm not going to say anything. So keep the lid tight and sealed. So if you're somebody who doesn't like faffing about with lash glue, but you know at the same time want some kind of falsies once in a while, not every time, uh, to you know enhance your eyelashes or have a bit of oomph in your look, then I highly recommend the Ardell Magnetic Gel Liner and Lash Set. The only problem is that I don't really, really recommend the way the lashes are packaged. You know, as I told you, there's some clumping where the lashes sat upon those glue pads.
quartz. If they replace those with magnetic quartz, I'd be happy. So have you tried magnetic eyelashes? Which is your favorite kind of falsy application method? Which is your favorite lash glue if that's what you prefer? Do tell me all of that in the comments below. So that's all from me for today. Thank you for watching this video. Please do give me a thumbs up. Please do hit the subscribe button. Please do ring the notifications bell. I'll see you soon.